My name is Carrie Cottle, and welcome to Read Aloud with Ms. Cottle. Today we are reading the book, My Name is Yoon. Enjoy! My Name is Yoon, written by Helen Rakorvitz, pictures by Gabby Swiatkowska, published by Francis Foster Books. My name is Yoon. I came here from Korea, a country far away. It was not long after we settled in that my father called me to his side. Soon you will go to your new school. You must learn to print your name in English, he said. Here, this is how it looks. Y-O-O-N. I wrinkled my nose. I did not like Y-O-O-N lines, circles, each standing alone. My name looks happy in Korean, I said. The symbols dance together. And in Korean, my name means shining wisdom. I like the Korean way better. Well, you must learn to write it this way. Remember, even when you write in English, it still means shining wisdom. I did not want to learn the new way. I wanted to go back home to Korea. I did not like America. Everything was different here. My father handed me a pencil and his eyes said, do as I say. He showed me how to print every letter in the English alphabet. So I practiced and my father was very pleased. Look, he called to my mother. See how well our little Yoon does. Yes, she said. She will be a wonderful student. I wrinkled my nose. My first day at school, I sat quietly at my desk while the teacher talked about C-A-T. She wrote cat on the chalkboard. She read a story about cat. I did not know what her words meant, but I knew what the picture said. She sang a song about cat. It was a pretty song, and I tried to sing the words too. Later, she gave me a paper with my name on it name. Yoon, she said. She pointed to the empty lines underneath. I did not want to write Yoon. I wrote cat instead. I wrote cat on every line. I wanted to be cat. I wanted to hide in a corner. My mother would find me and cuddle up close to me. I would close my eyes and meow quietly. The teacher looked at my paper. She shook her head and frowned. So you are cat, she asked. The ponytail girl sitting behind me giggled. After school, I said to my father, we should go back to Korea. It is better there. Do not talk like that, he said. America is your home now. I sat by the window and watched a little robin hop, hop in the yard. He is all alone too, I thought. He has no friends, no one likes him. Then I had a very good idea. If I draw a picture for the teacher, then maybe she will like me. It was the best bird I had ever drawn. Look, father, I said proudly. Oh, this makes me happy, he said. Now do this, and he showed me how to print B-I-R-D under the picture. The next day at school, the teacher handed me another Yoon paper to print, but I did not want to print Yoon. I wrote bird instead. I wrote bird on every line. I wanted to be bird. I wanted to fly, fly back to Korea. I would fly to my nest and I would tuck my head under my little brown wing. The teacher looked at my paper. Again, she shook her head. So you are bird, she asked. 
Then I showed her my special robin drawing. I patted my red dress and then I patted the red robin. I lowered my head and peeked up at her. The teacher smiled. How was school today, my daughter? My mother asked. I think the teacher likes me a little, I said. Well, that is good, my mother said. Yes, but at my school in Korea, I was my teacher's favorite. I had many friends here. I am all alone. You must be patient with everyone, including yourself, my mother said. You will be a fine student and you will make many new friends here. The next day at recess, I stood near the fence by myself. I watched the ponytail girl sitting on the swing. She watched me too. Suddenly she jumped off the swing and ran over to me. She had a package in her hand. The wrapper said C-U-P-C-A-K-E. She opened it and gave me one. She giggled. I giggled too. When we were back in school, the teacher gave us more printing papers. I did not want to write Yoon. I wrote Cupcake instead. I wanted to be Cupcake. The children would clap their hands when they saw me. They would be excited. Cupcake, they would say, here is Cupcake. The teacher looked at my paper. And today you are Cupcake, she said. She smiled a very big smile. Her eyes said, I like this girl, Yoon. After school, I told my mother about my ponytail friend. I sang a new song for my father. I sang in English. You make us so proud, little Yoon, my mother said. Maybe America will be a good home, I thought. Maybe different is good too. The next day at school, I could hardly wait to print. And this time I wrote Y-O-O-N on every line. When my teacher looked at my paper, she gave me a big hug. Aha, you are Yoon, she said. Yes, I am Yoon. I write my name in English now. It still means shining wisdom. That was my name is Yoon. You know, change can be really hard and different can sometimes feel uncomfortable and like a super challenge to get through, but you can do anything. And what's really important is that you love yourself throughout that process, even if it's really hard. You know, in this book, I really loved how the ponytail girl reached out and tried to help Yoon feel more comfortable. I think that that helped Yoon to help herself and to say, yes, I am Yoon. I am still myself. I still have my culture, where I came from, and I can move forward, building new relationships. Look around and see who you can help and also how you can just celebrate who you are. Take care of yourself and each other.